Okay, Noah, uh, that was one of the biggest wins in club history, if not the biggest. Uh, describe the energy going on in that locker room. Yeah, we're enjoying it. You know, tough, tough game here, tough game all alone. San Diego is a very good, talented team. Uh, the boys are excited. We had somewhat finals before this, so we had to win, we had to get results, and uh, we knew that tonight was a real, real one. So, enjoying the moment right now. Yeah. Uh, to battle back with this team, through all its adversity this season, from low in the table, a coach, all the situations. What does that say about this team in there? No, they're just they're used to adversity. They're, they're ready to work. Uh, they're coming to work. It's like I said before, trains are super intense. We're, we're, we're getting at each other. Um, we're all fighting for one goal. You know, United and fighting for that goal. What's that goal? To win the next game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, a playoff clean sheet against the second seeded team, you know, in this house, you know, it's not easy. Uh, what can you say about how well this team executed the uh, the game plan you have for them? Yeah, we made a couple changes um, in the lineup. <clears throat> and you know, JoJo came in and played strong, so in the middle we put Charlie a bit higher. This goal is a ridiculous goal. Uh, then the guy that's been steady for us for so long, Alejandro, mm -hmm. takes a knock, we have to make a sub yeah. early in that first half, and that changes the whole dynamic of the subs, the rotation. So. Going through that and, and Amron coming in, you know, he hasn't had that much time lately to come in and play strong games. Mm -hmm. Credit to him, you know. So mm -hmm. but everyone battles like everyone. Yeah. Uh, like you just mentioned, Amra comes in in the thirty first minute. It's an unplanned sub. Uh, but he played solidly. What was his impact uh, as an unplanned sub today? No, you know, he had to make you know he's being a captain and he's has to be, you know, put in a performance and, and be a leader sometimes when he's not in the, in the team. So uh, it was important for him to keep his head because it's hard you know, coming off the bench, especially 20 minutes in, yeah. with the forwards that they have. Mm -hmm. well. mm -hmm. And like you also just mentioned, Charlie in a different role, which says a lot about his versatility. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you say about what you had planned for him in the system tonight? Yeah, getting, getting close to Otar, movement with him and Lindo in between the lines. Yes. Um, you know, he scored from the left side when he's playing on the right side. It shows the movement and what a strike it was. Yeah. And in the first half, it seemed like San Diego was controlling the action, but not a lot of true threatening, uh, you know, looks. Roots broke the tie, had good chances. Describe what the game plan for tonight was and what you worked on through the week. Yeah, no, game plan was we know they're going to have a lot of the ball, they're going to keep the ball, they're very dangerous up front. Um, we're going to have to sometimes suffer and, and defend, and then once we're in those opportunities, how can we go Right. Well, and like you just mentioned there, it seemed that as the match went on, you know, the defense kind of sat back a little bit. The You know, there was a solid back five. Uh, how did the system progress tonight? Yeah, we just got we got a little bit lower in the block than we wanted to, but sometimes when you're lower, the space in between lines is very difficult to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought the boys did well. They worked hard. You know, there's a lot of individual battles that they had to compete in. Mm -hmm. and, and now is a big, tough task at San Antonio. Uh, what's your message to the team? Enjoy tonight. Enjoy these moments. These are good moments in life. You have to enjoy them. And then we'll set up the week plan and, and go from there. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. All right.